<clears throat> oh my god, I'm finally kind of moved into my house. There's still a lot to do, but how's everyone doing? Oh my god, what is this? Is it a good old-fashioned Leo recap slash scripted video instead of a stream? Why, it is! Would you look at that? Hi everyone, Donut here, and welcome to another episode of Florida Man Cut Another Man's Dick Off. I love making recipes with slices of Johnson, and that makes it easier. You heard me right, boys and girls. Not only will Florida man get stuck on the roof of the building he was trying to break into, then tell on himself, print counterfeit money at a public library from a template he found on Pinterest, bite his dog to establish dominance, strip naked, then fight people in a Chick-fil-A parking lot for looking at his dick, Become a zookeeper, change his name to Joe Exotic, and hire an undercover FBI agent to kill a woman who rescues tigers for a living. But he will also remove your heat-seeking moisture missile and throw it over a fence. 28-year-old Justin Foster is being held on a million-dollar bond after he flew to Chicago, rented a car, drove to his ex-girlfriend's house, found her current boyfriend, hit him over the head with a tire iron, removed his purple-headed yogurt slinger, then tossed it over a fence. As if Chicago didn't have enough problems with violence already, Florida Man is now flying up there just to cut people's dongers off. Foster then left the poor man in a pool of blood to die before passerby found him. He is being charged with attempted murder. The next story kind of sounds like Florida Man, but it is not our beloved superhero this time. On Sunday, Kansas man Kevin Jones was released from jail. He stole a car in the jail parking lot, then tried to steal another car. Needless to say, he's back in jail. And I'm, th that's all that story. <laughs> Lieutenant Gregory Foster's department made the news again after they set a man on fire. A 35-year-old felon was found passed out inside of his truck with his hand on a gun and his booger hook on the bang bang switch. Police were called in. They tried to talk him out of the car. He wouldn't listen, and that's when 40 Mike Mike gas rounds were deployed. Lieutenant Foster got tired of waiting for the man to get out of the truck. That's when he ordered his officers to use some 40 millimeter white phosphorus incendiary rounds, followed by some double taps at about head level. Seriously though, the guy probably wanted to find some way to stop the CS gas from coming out of the canister in the small cab of his truck, so he sat on top of the gas canister, which inadvertently set his pants on fire, and he got out of the truck. I mean, it, it worked. It had its desired effect. He, he got out. Oh my god, we almost forgot to talk about Florida Woman. Do you remember the video I made a while back about the smoke show teacher sleeping with the 14-year-old? Well, there's some more information that has been released about her situation involving the law. 27-year-old Stephanie Peterson's court date finally rolled around, and she has pled guilty to battery sex acts with a child, landing her a minimum of five years in jail with a maximum of 10. Reports are also stating that a month after she was arrested, she divorced her firefighter husband, probably because he was a firefighter. Next up, a giant raging justice boner has reached out and butt fucked some Antifa turd once again. You may have seen a video sometime this week showing a man by the name of Steve Wilson verbally assaulting a woman on the streets of Portland. I mean, what's new? It's, it's a protest in Portland. Why are you trying to block me? I'm fucking trying to walk here. I obey traffic signals. You're a snarky little fucking idiot. Shut the she tells the man that her husband was a victim of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, and he replies with, My husband died in 9-11. Hey, good for him. Good. Good. Those NYPD were a bunch of fucking sodomizers. Fucking sodomizing immigrants with their bully sticks. So yeah, you're a fucking, your husband should probably rot in the grave. Well, the internet did its thing, and Mr. Wilson was fired from his job as a data specialist with Self Enhancement Incorporated. The company posted a tweet on Saturday stating that his behavior does not represent the values of our organization or the high expectations that we have for our employees. Got him. Last but not least, our main video of the day coming from our favorite major television network, Salinas. Police in Salinas, California were called to the scene of a suspect who was also a known gang member who had barricaded himself inside of his vehicle and refused police orders. They're out with a uh, suspect in a vehicle. Sounds like he's barricaded himself inside it. He's a known Vagos gang member, which is a southern gang. Known gang member equals he might have a gun. A few officers arrive on scene, including this officer who is not greedy when it comes to 40 Mike Mike rounds. Going on lethal to 40. After a few moments of tense negotiations, the suspect peacefully surrenders. Or so it seems. Next unit. Hey! Your hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Keep your hands up! Keep your hands up! He's got his hand in his way! Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! Keep your hands up! Hands up! Keep them up! Don't move! 
All right, let's go over some numbers, kids. Did you know that you can count things in many different ways? Hands up! Hands up! Hands up! One! Keep your hands up! It's not hand in his way! Two! Three! Four! Keep your hands up! Five! What are you Hands up! Six! Six! Six 40 mic mics. Ah, ah, ah. Let this be a lesson to all you young people out there. If you carry around meth or a felon in possession of a high-capacity magazine, have two outstanding arrest warrants for attempted murder, and refuse police orders, you're going to catch six 40 Mike Mike foam rounds to your backside, followed by two tasers, followed by me and 450,000 subscribers making fun of your dumb ass on YouTube. By the way, thanks for the 450,000 subscribers, guys. That's awesome. We will be at half a million in no time. Let's end this video by taking a look at some of the memes from me Monday on the official police subreddit protect and serve they had a hell of a meme monday i'm very impressed with the first two or three that i looked at let's take a look at all of them together though 30 minutes before end of shift and you're at a domestic disturbance woman also he hit me and he got drugs on him too <laughs> please don't do this <laughs> I wonder what he's thinking. I probably missed something when I searched that car. When you've been on days for so long, you've forgotten how to do a field sobriety test, so you just wing it. And then it's crisscross clap and spin around. Cop, do you know how fast you were going? Me, I kind of feel like that's your job. <laughs> when dispatch is about to send you on a bullshit call, so you wave at someone and make a pedestrian contact call and said, hacking the system. <laughs> Waiting on medical to arrive on scene so you can clear the call and go back to stopping cars. When you're doing surveillance and a neighbor spots you. Okay, honestly, this is this is fucking hilarious. I, you know that's making the cops happier there. It's, it's not really messing with them whatsoever. I mean, they're already pretty psyched that the only reason they're getting a ton of overtime right now is because you're there, but now you're doing some stupid shit like that and they get to laugh and have a good time. Thanks, Antifa. <laughs> when there's no overtime on your paycheck. <laughs> I guess while we're here, we can take a look at this. Uh, NYPD recalls almost 3,000 body cameras after one explodes. So it's not enough that like your command is trying to fuck you in the butt. The people on the streets want to murder you, and the general public perception of police officers is that you're a racist piece of shit, but now your body cameras are trying to kill you. I'm guessing it's from some kind of lithium battery thing. It says that 3,000 body cameras were taken away from cops after one exploded on a Staten Island officer during a Saturday night shift. He noticed there was smoke coming from the bottom portal and immediately removed it. After it was safely removed, it exploded. You know, I didn't realize this. I'm going to have to make another video on body cameras. You know, the there's a guy that was talking talking about hacking body cameras, police body cameras, and changing the footage around. I plan on doing a full video about that, but check this out. There are 15,500 body cameras in use across the NYPD. The data storage cost for that has, has to be absolutely insane because they record almost every single interaction with the public. One high-ranking NYPD official said, the city's vending process generally always goes for the cheapest vendor despite superior products elsewhere. I guess you get what you pay for. Since I did show a clip from Life PD and I also talked about Florida man cutting off another person's tallywhacker, I can say goodbye to my ad revenue, so shameless plug. Hey buddy, I'm making a video right now. It's, it's chocolate operator, everyone. Uh, do you want me to tell? Do you want me to tell everyone anything? Chocolate says, "What's up? How how's it going?" I love my chocolate brother. Oh, where was I? Um, yeah, uh, YouTube's gonna demonetize this. So if you want to help support the channel, you can do so at patreoncom op donut operator. You can become a member of the channel, which has perks like being able to talk when I live stream on YouTube, or you can get super sweet merch from donutoperator.com. My artist Emma, I I told her I said, "Can you take this guy?" and make him into squirt but also give him a plate carrier and she killed it and now it's a t-shirt on the store anyways that's all i have for you fine people today hopefully we can do videos like this every single day i'm trying to fix my schedule a bit more the moving process is slowing down i'm, fi I'm finally moved in a little bit to the new house i love you all have a fantastic day